slopes, seventh dimension. Faster than five of the same, search warrant. More powerful than a prosecutor on speed. Two hits from the ball and tied in a DEA helicopter. All right, All right, ready? Here we go. Welcome to the Cannabis Show. Get on the Cannabis Show with your host, MJ Weedman, and I got me a super special guest today, Allison. And Alice, I always call her Allison the Yoga Girl, but all right, Allison, what is your last name? My last name is Corrier. Allison, Allison Corrier. Corrier. Yes. But you know what? She's not on here because she's the Yoga Girl. She's on here because she's doing something damn unique. You know what she's doing? She's running for Miss New Jersey, y'all. Miss New Jersey. You know, check it out. Me, my age. I remember people got thrown off and validated for certain things once they revealed that they smoked weed. I remember Bill Clinton almost got kicked off the, not the Democratic nomination for president because he lied and said, he didn't inhale. We all know he did. But anyway, he had to lie at that time. Nowadays, that thing is almost a rite of passage that anybody who's anybody has to admit or at least tell what their weed smoking status is. But I never could have imagined that Miss New Jersey contestant can actually admit that they smoke weed because potentially she could win Miss New Jersey and then she'd be an automatic entry into the Miss USA. Okay. You know what I mean? And hey, and can you imagine a Miss USA contestant saying, yeah, I rep cannabis. So listen, all you people, my followers who are watching this, you know what I want you to do? I want you to go to her webpage or go to the Miss New Jersey webpage. And I want you to online vote for Allison. All right? So that's what we got to do first. We're going to put the link in here for, for the audio listeners. We're going to save the link. Okay? So I need you people that are listening. Pull out your pens, pull out your papers, and it's going to be MissNewJerseyUSA.com slash contestant hyphen miss. Now you go there, it's going to be a whole list of contestants. But you pot smokers who follow me, we know there's only one candidate to vote for. We're voting for Allison. But anyway, Allison, we're going to let you go ahead and talk and right, introduce right. yourself because I'm a little behind. I'll just keep on no talking and talking and talking. Yeah, so right. I'm... So wait a minute, first, where are you from? I'm from, I'm living in Asbury, New Jersey right now. Okay, where's in Asbury? Washington, was, Warren County, everybody thinks Asbury Park. Yes, I days. was confused. Yeah. I was thinking you were talking about Asbury Park before, too. So I'm Asbury, New Jersey is by Washington, which is like, what's that, Warren County? or Warren, It is, yeah. Warren County, it's up on uh, North Jersey, but on the western side of the state near the Delaware Water Gap, yep. where people don't know. You know, up there where they got horses and horse farms yes. and, and little streams with trout in it and stuff like that. That's not the image that people think of New Jersey. When they think of New Jersey, they're thinking of the, the New Jersey Turnpike Carter and that, that, that North Jersey smoke and fog and landfill. So for those people from the far away, man, they got bears where she lives. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bears and turkeys yeah. and all that stuff. And, and, I mean, and I bet you that's the people out there growing weed out there in the fields, too. There are, I would say so. Yeah, I know. I need a lighter. I need a lighter because since we're videotaping and everything, I don't want somebody to say you didn't inhale. I wow. want I want to image a Miss New Jersey contestant. Oh, Smoking weed with weed man. New Jersey weed man. All right, so here we go. I'm lighting the joint, y'all. now. Yes. yes. For those Get of it. you who are listening, I'm lighting the joint. Hear that? I'm gonna take the first hail and puff. And listen, I, as far as COVID goes, I had my shots. I had two of them. I actually had three. I did the two Pfizer ones and then I did the other one. So I feel like I got a little extra boost or something. So I don't think you'll get COVID from me. But here we are. Miss New Jersey about ready to take a puff. Yes. On with NJ Weed Man. I don't have I to think worry I gotta, about I, getting sick. I have the coffee water, so I don't get sick. You don't get sick? Okay, yep. go for it. <laughs> it's very rare I get sick too, but I wasn't afraid of COVID. Oh no, that might be they might 
much to pack that two tanks because I didn't really get it. Oh, cool. Are you? No, you didn't get those. No, we've been holding them. For those of you packing these, packing these, these months, these people, man, you gotta loosen them up a little bit. You can't pack them so tight. They're hard to pull. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Not much, but whatever. We get the point. She's smoking weed, though. She's a Miss New Jersey contestant, and she's smoking weed. Here, hand her her phone so she can fix her phone. Yeah. 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 Um. But I got. Oh, is it because it was going, or is it? I got a couple questions for you. What are they? Yeah, I got. I got. I'll pause to record the next show instead. Okay. Now, I know you as. The yoga girl. The yoga lady, yeah. The yoga lady, the yoga woman, because you're not a girl, you're a full grown woman. Okay, so. Miss, yep, yes, yes, so she's, she's a yoga girl, right? She's not running for Miss Teen New Jersey, she's running for Miss New Jersey. She's a full grown woman. All right, so let's start with your experience in the field. My experience in the field. And we're field. talking about weed, right? We are talking weed. about weed. Weed, yes. weed. So wait a minute, as you're running, there's special things you'll be talking. I know how when I do the contest, people talk about things or what their hobbies are, what their so you're just openly going to talk about cannabis. Yeah. Oh man, you're gonna get thousands and thousands of voters because you're gonna be that cannabis person. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it okay. so sheds a lot of light. Which would start like I said, let's start with your experience in the field. Okay, so I was like seventeen, eighteen, I knew that I wanted to work with cannabis. Um, I actually checked out Amsterdam University and it was awesome. It was like really hands on. We got to work with the plant um, from seed till fully grown. And a really cool thing about that was once the plant was harvested, it would then go to a patient like the one we were working on had cancer. So it's cool that people get to learn and then, you know, like this cannabis it goes to like a great home. And I feel like all the students are just constantly loving up the plants. and. Dale Sky Jones, oh my God, she's incredible. The owner of Amsterdam University, um, she came into our class and spoke. It was awesome opportunity getting to meet her. Um, and then I kind of went into the patient attendant field, the medical field. Um, what year was this? If I can ask. When did I work in Hawaii? 2000. No, no, no. When did I go for my no, yoga? No, no, no. no, no. When you went to Amsterdam. Amsterdam, like two years ago. Okay. Years ago? Yeah. It's been yeah. a minute. I want to go back for business. I did the horticulture, but I would definitely. Okay. Check it out again when the time is right, for sure. So, so you spent some time in Hawaii. Yes. Great weed there. Great weed, yeah, the best. Great weather, great sun. Do you surf too? I do a little bit of surfing. I do well if there's somebody behind me to give me that push when the wave comes, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I'm still getting my surfing legs. Well, you look like that surfer chick, that, 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 that hippie chick. You are a yoga chick, so. I guess it all it goes together. Like, yeah. It all goes together. You just have that look to you. When I first saw you, you was a hippie. All right. Yes. I mean, even look what you're wearing right now. It's like, yes. it's like a hippie sundress. Yeah. Yeah. Great. The but, were great, I would say. Um, all right. One of, like, my favorite. Oh, I didn't want to I'm sorry about this. I'm just telling you. It's all good. You had it's to change the settings for a long three. time. All right. Tell me about your journey with cannabis yoga, though. Like, like that was that was cool when you came in here talking about cannabis yoga. We were like, okay, yeah. let's see where this is going. It was uh, sounded interesting. So, how did you get started like that? Um, I would say just kind of what it did for me. I first got into yoga, and it just really helped me overcome a lot of things that were blocking me from my goals. Um, so you were like, doing yoga, yeah, and then you did yoga and we pretty much like, yo, yeah. this works better when I'm on weed. Yeah. Okay. Well, for like a vulnerability moment, um, I was practicing yoga and at the time, like also like I was just struggling with a lot of anxiety and um, coming off of antidepressants, I was kind of like, like I want to try weed. Like everybody's talking about weed and it's natural and it's holistic. And at that time I was trying to take a turn of like all the plant medicine, all the essential oils, everything like that. And then that's when I started before. combining the two. No. You didn't do any drugs before? Maybe a little bit of like weed and mushrooms. Weed and mushrooms. Mushrooms are cool too. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. But then you combine them both. Yes. <coughs> How did those in the yoga feel about you combining it? Like your other uh, instructors or people who were doing yoga? Like when you would 
say well, how about some Kennedy joke and like was it, it, it enthusiastic? Yeah. Like what? Uh, yeah. yeah, I would say it definitely resonated. I feel like a lot of people make that connection, whether it's like meditation or just like listening to music and having insights come in helps you move through things. And that's basically what you know the cannabis and yoga is, how it combines and it's been young. Oh, by the way, this joint is pulling very good it's now. It's pulling out, okay. Yeah, so okay. you can go ahead okay. and go for it again. I don't know what just happened to my video. My video just stopped. I just tried to start it over again and did Anyway, we got that camera right there. The camera is pointed solid. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and take another pull. I took like three, three pulls while you were, while you were talking. Um, hmm. This has nothing to do with cannabis. I'm just curious. What's the most adventurous thing you've ever done? Like just flat out, like. The most adventurous was me going to India. Um, I did a 200-hour yoga certification there. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute. You didn't know this? The history? No, I actually oh. did. But uh, you know, hey, we're trying to do a podcast. I'm trying to. <laughs> so wait a minute. So the history of yoga, from what I understand, it started in India. Yep, yoga camp. So you're going back to. You're like going to the roots of yoga. You got so into yoga, you went to India. Yeah. What city in India did you go to? What state? It was the yoga capital, Rishikesh. Rishikesh? Rishikesh. 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 Yes. Rishikesh. Yep. So that's where the, I don't know the names of these people, but the, the grand Puba of yoga is there. Yeah. Like the Pope of yoga is in Rikesh. Rishikesh. Yes, Rishikesh. Yes, sir. Yeah. Do they have like a Vatican city? Is that what it is? But it's for yoga. It's pretty, yeah. A lot of yoga schools. I was really? Yoga. Really? Okay. I mean, I'm just trying to picture it. I'm trying to put it in my head. Like, wow. It is yoga city for sure. You get off the plane and everybody's like meditating in the, in the airport. Yeah. <laughs> it, was about, it was about a 30 minute drive before that began. Really? But say. then after yeah. after you left the airport, about 30 minutes out, you started just spotting people. Just in that city, doing, it gets pretty mellow. Yeah. I'd everywhere. Say, just people. I would just think they had a lot of weed. They, so I actually made it a thing where I was like, you know what? I'm not going to actively seek out weed. Like, I'm just going to do my yoga and be fine. But the weed kind of came to me. I mean, of course, you can't find, like, yeah. dabs or what do they, cartridges. What did they call it there? Hatch. It's just, it's just hatch. hatch. Yes. Yeah. I was in Europe, and I, it was yeah. way more hatch than there was dry beef in my life. But that's Asia. I guess that's kind of where it started. I mean, yeah. this hash smoking from all throughout Persia, going east all the way to the Pacific Ocean, through India, Pakistan, they're all yeah. hash smokers. And they eat it, hash brown, yeah. hash dumplings. And, and wait a minute, India has a holiday sometime in February. I don't remember what it, what, what it is. I'm not, I never really got all into the culture, but I do know. February in India, I think, is associated with meditation and things too. There was a, there's a drink they call Bhang, B H A N G, and it somehow is made from cannabis. Wow, I never call it cannabis either. You know that? I always call it weed. I always call it whatever. I don't know if you've heard much. I don't know if you've heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never really call it cannabis. I'll get into that one day later. Well, I've heard it. I've said it on this on this show, but different topic. I'm down with your yoga experience and Rishikesh? Rishikesh. Rishikesh. Yeah. Rishikesh. All right, so you go there. You go off the plane. 30 minutes later, you start to spot people doing yoga. Like, where do you go? Like, it's like school or all these Westerners yeah. are coming. So that's exactly what it was. Yep, they're called ashrams. Ashrams? Yeah. So everybody in the neighborhood knew, oh, she's here for the school. Yep. Oh, wow. And how long was the school? About a month. About a month? Yep. And every month they start a new class, or like every couple of days you see the class coming in behind? I believe it's every month, and then there's also like a 10 day, so if you want to do, I think it's a 100 hour, there's a shorter one, but they all go together. Oh, okay. Yeah. And there were thousands, hundreds, or dozens? Maybe 50, 60 people mm-hmm. in the whole place. Oh, yeah. That's cool. That's an experience. You keep in touch with any of those people? I do, a couple of them, yeah. Really? Yeah. What countries? What countries are they from? Um, well, we have somebody from New York who came in and did a same bowl healing here. He's actually from India. Okay. Yep. Okay. So you kept in touch with him. Yeah. Who Incredible else? healer. Where else? Um, who else from India? No, they didn't have to be from India. They oh. went to the school. 
Like the in one? your classmates? Oh, no you didn't keep in touch with none of your classmates? No, I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know. I would have disclosed. I wish I could, like, re meet some of my old classmates, like, when I was in the army and stuff like that. I wish it was just my platoon people. Anyway, that's cool. All right. What are your, what are your current <coughs> career goals? I mean, I know you teach yoga, you're a yoga instructor, but I don't know about your other issues. Yeah, so I would say right now, working on, well, when like more information comes out mid-August, mm -hmm. um, opening up a cannabis lounge, also having obviously yoga classes, um, serving the coffee and water, and I think it would just be really great too. Like I want people to come there to have fun, but I also want to make there be a safe place for, you know, like some of the aunties and uncles that come in and are like, mm -hmm. I've never done this before. Like there's nobody at home and they kind of have that, you know, like nervous feeling. I feel like that's something that came up a lot. Like so you want to have attendant. some type of business with the 420 yoga. Yeah. Like a full fledged business. And to be able to like sit medically with people. Like just make sure like, you know, nothing's gonna happen. Like you're not gonna have to jump out the window or anything. Like I've had some some like conversations with like people that grew up with the reefer madness, you know, like now that their doctor is suggesting this for pain and just had to say like their first you're not time gonna see like yeah. any pink elephants, like it's fine, like it's not gonna happen, I can assure you. But you should also have mushroom yoga. Mushroom. Microdose Monday. Oh my goodness! Could you do that? <clears throat> so what? Like, how would you do that? Say a brunch or something, ten o'clock in the morning. You do some mushrooms. You drink some orange juice, whatever. You chill at twelve o'clock. No matter what state you're in, yeah. you're doing yoga. So some people are gonna be laughing and giggling through the whole thing. Some people will be frozen. I don't know. That would be an interesting Let's class. See how it goes. So you'd have to video the whole thing. Zoom has video now. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about that. Oh, they make it hot. Well, you said all around, so we would have to do like some type of yeah. virtual. Yeah, you get them down a couple yeah. cameras somewhere. Yeah. And just do your yoga, your yoga mushroom class. You need like a short light or two. <laughs> and then we'll be doing yoga. And a fog machine, so like right in the middle of the fog machine, you do a short light. That would be too trippy. I don't think. Yeah, people would. I don't know. They, if we could, yeah, people, you know, yeah, people, people would love yoga. that. But that would be the funny part. Watching somebody with mushrooms try to do yoga, sit still. Anyway, whatever. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, this we just do. It's gotta be battling. Yeah. There you go. Um. This sounds like the same question. Just for y'all know, I'm reading questions that are written for me. What are your career goals? What is your life ambition? Those are, are the, those are the same. I know, that's what I'm saying. My those ambition are, is those, That's the same thing. Really? Right. I feel like that's more why. Like, why I want to do what I want to do. Okay. Yeah. What is your life ambition? My why. Okay. My why. It's more about, like, just awareness, I would say. Just kind of, like, getting science out there. You know, like, we have an entire system in our body that's meant to work with cannabis. And... This is something that people are now profiting off of while others are behind bars. And it's just kind of like not prioritized, you know, like by the government, lawmakers. I think it should be, legalization should have happened from the bottom up, not from the top down. Mm -hmm. This whole big corporate structure, government approval, way of legalization to me is very irritating. The process. And that's, I think, Anybody should be able to smoke weed. Anybody should be able to grow weed. Anybody should be able to barter and trade it. Um, if they wanted to make some Walmart some weed, let them make some Walmart some weed. So be it. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. anybody should be able to also buy and sell, grow, marijuana, and buy more from the legalization. So that's where I'm still at. As a contestant, Miss America, Miss New Jersey. I keep saying Miss America because you're going to win Miss New Jersey. Yes, yeah, so you're going to win Miss New Jersey first. All right, as a contestant, almost a 420 contestant. Yeah, 420 contestant. As a contestant, if that question is asked to you, because it will, if you make that part of your your campaign, someone's someone might yeah. ask you that question. So, you're, so it would be similar. 
It would be very similar, maybe a little bit different, but yeah, the same cause. I would say, yeah, just kind of, I would say for that, really bringing more awareness to, like, the medical side, because I've seen be some your, really, you know, like, I serious... Th- I think they asked you something like, to like, what would be your cause, like, that cause yeah. you to take up if this you is, Yeah, I would it say would, that's the same cannabis. thing. It would be cannabis. It's, yeah, I would say, like, just kind of realizing that there are a whole lot of studies being done, new things being found every day. And um, there's people that still need it, like you said, like from the bottom up, just making sure that everybody has access to it. Right. Um, now, but, now I know, as a yoga person, as like I said, I, 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 from the day that I saw you, I just put you in that whole Camila, peace, peace, eat well type of person. So organic growing would yeah. obviously be a part of your agenda if you were talking yeah. about cannabis. And I think, again, you're only going to get really organic wrong if you let little guys do it themselves and sit home and do some all the right stuff and all their clothes and just look at, you know, like, yeah. where these big corporations, they're going to fit footage a lot on certain things. Somewhere in their process, they are using something, something yeah. whether it's pesticides, some type of uh, enhancement, some type of root growth, some type of something. Yeah, yeah. 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 playing with pH and all that. And all of that is not organic growth. So if you're down with organic growing, you gotta be down with home growth. Yes. You know, so you're down with New Jersey home growth. You know, there's a sizable portion of the people who voted for legalization for a day that be allowed to grow their home. And then we got denied it. We're being yeah. denied that by our state legislators. Like it's almost a bait and switch. It's a double cross. It's, it wasn't clear. I myself filed a lawsuit about all that vagueness and stuff and it's still pending right now. But we'll see. Um that's cool to know that you'll be down with home growth. Yeah. Down with organic growing. So the importance of organic growing to you is in twenty words. Yeah, I would say and just especially considering that it's something that we're we're talking about cannabis. It's a product that we're either consuming, you know, by inhaling or, you know, putting it into something that's extremely concentrated. So I think it's definitely important from that aspect too. And we have the we have the resources like to do it. Like you can grow organically. Um, but yeah, some of these even like the medical ones are like okay and more chemicals to come in and it's like hi. What? Okay. All right, well, I guess we're gonna finish it up. Here's another poll that's not fair if I'm the only one getting high. You're on the show too. All right. What inspired you to run for Miss New Jersey? I mean, that's a big step. I probably should have asked that first, as opposed to last. But all right, what inspired you to run for Miss New Jersey? Like one day you woke up with an epiphany, or you thought about your uh, whole life? Pretty much, like just kind of like chatting with a girlfriend about different ideas to help community to spread out, branch out, and felt like this would be a good experience, like a good. Kind of this role model. I feel like it's a good year for it, like with how everything has been shifting. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, and just having somebody that knows like both sides of it, you know, the, um, the recreational, how far we've come in this movement, um, the medical, like one of the patients I worked with was four years old. So it was definitely like an inspiration to just stay in the field and get more access because I know that there are so many. Can Other ask, kids just like him. Can I ask you about that? Yeah. The kid, their parents were obviously willing to <clears throat> choose medical marijuana at yeah. some point. Where did where did you obtain it? Because I think in most states they won't let you. But did you openly say that you were going to be grabbing this for the yeah. kids for the it's, children for a child? The only thing weird about it with the law was that the parent had to be separated, like the kid, like if you're under 18, you couldn't come inside even though you have the medical card. So somebody would have to go outside and wait. Like it was, that was the only thing weird, but everything else was, yeah, like very open and just kind of like wanted them to get better. We're making very specific strains, um, trying to get them out as quick as possible. And um, yeah, like sometimes it was hard because some, you know, like a different, strain comes out a little bit different so definitely just trying to get, find get something that that's consistent that was working, you know what yeah. that's like the only real thing i think that the uh the big the big corporations have over the black market the big corporations can have the same strain 
for years and months because they're growing massively. Um, and they concentrate on selling it in, in one place or something. Whereas the little, little guys, I think, grow better, but there's usually the life market, you have a hard time finding the same strain consistently, even though you may find good, plenty of good wheat, different varieties, different strains, and maybe all of it works for you or none of it works for you. I don't know. I hear people say sometimes things like only Blue Dream works for them, only Sour Diesel works for them. I don't really believe in that, but I, I do know that I've smoked something at the same time someone else smoked something and they're super high and I'm not, or the opposite, I'm not and they are. So certain things work better, different for different people too. Someone complained about something recently the other day, and, they, and the funny part was they complained that they didn't get high enough, like two other people complimented me on the same exact bud, on the yeah. same exact day, yeah. you know, so. Everybody, you know. <laughs> excuse me, everybody is different. I definitely noticed that for you. Right. Working in there, same thing. Like some people are like, oh no, like this is, actually that happened to me the one day right before I left work, I was all excited because I bought the new strain and they're like, oh, like this Kimbo is like not as strong as the last one. So I, I like was at home, I took a huge one and I was like, whoa, like this is. Can this I give is... you a gimmick to do? Sure. Go to all the dispensaries, whether you go in or you send a medical marijuana patient out, whatever, you should document that as part of your campaign, how you went and you tested all the different strains. And you can mix in black market issues. Like I got this from this black market place, this 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 legal and this I mean, I would love you to do a review of my strain one day. And do a review of my strain. Go to the dispensaries, go to other black marketeers, because there's other black marketeers out here that are pretty open. If you drive by their location, you can look, you can see, like, oh, that's a weed spot. Go yeah. in there. I'll tell you where to go to a couple of them. And see if anybody wants it. And you can just go buy some and walk outside and sit in your car and do a review if you want, or go home and make a big thing of it. But you should, I don't know, that's my suggestion. If you do it, you do it. If you don't, you don't. But anyway, we're going to end the show. My camera fell, but we got the whole thing on that camera. All right, so I wish you luck. Thank you. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to continue to sell weed like I'm white. <laughs> uh, Shopping. Yes. <clears throat> Do we get Thursdays at the Jonah? No, I was looking for right some. There. Oh, there it is. Here yep. it is. Here it is. I knew I saw it. Boom. We're going to start doing hookah Thursdays. There's some other specials that we're going to be announcing on our website. People follow the joint, follow the joint and join our email list because there are going to be certain specials that are going to be blasted out only on our email list. If you're a member, you are on the email list. You have a members list too. So don't forget if you're a member, open those emails that say members only special. I'm going to give you a hint. We're having a member only special tomorrow. Yes. So watch your your members only special email. Members only special tomorrow. Disclosure. Except the mention. Faster than five of the same. Search warrant. More powerful than a prosecutor on speed. Two hits from the bomb that he's tied in a DEA helicopter. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's the New Jersey weed man Pumping every day, doing his thing Ain't nobody cool in this man And it's never gonna change, he too clever for me Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane It's the New Jersey weed man Pumping every day, doing his thing Ain't nobody cool in this man He too clever for me And it's never gonna change New Jersey weed man Superhero to his ganja smokers, fighting for the right to cipher and toke him, indicted and choke him. Every time he battled and spoke him, politicians getting at him with them government posters. Judges with jokers, do the laws, refuse to uphold him. Only made the weed man stronger, he just grew with exposure, refusing to boast. Every time he plead a proposal, Mary J, she ain't bad, she's just a leader to smoke him. Rocks the religion, roots come from Buffalo soldiers. Now they want to jail the weed man cause he practices smoking, taking advantages over. Watch a rap, but he blow When this thing hit the radio, we gon' smash the box over. Stay going. Learn how to court systems. Badge and fortune. He took his license and his truck. It cost him a fortune. Get up, stand 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 up,
fight for your rights. If you won't, he will back you to the press. Get it right. New Jersey weed man too. Rob Marley the heart. They took his daughter's last name. I bring it out of the dark. 420 up the Philly Independence Park. That's where the people get together and they spoke from the heart. He's on a quest to change the name. It's a peace by park. Brothers and sisters gather round. Let the session start. He spoke the joint at the courthouse. He wanted a fight. They took him away in shackles and refused his invite. They asked him for DNA. He said, get it off your lips. You can kiss my ass, you bureaucratic punk bitch. Excuse me while I light my split. Oh, Lord, I want to take a list. Now, who this? New Jersey Weed Man. That con, yo, he ready to leave. For his people and his beliefs, yo, he ready to flee. Roll up a Dutch mask up with a handful of trees. Take a token, they'll back you. We supposed to be free. Home of the brave. Shit, this the home of the slave. Only have room for two verses. This the end of the page. Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. It's the new church weed man. Fuck a Mary Jane doing his thing. Ain't nobody cooling this thing. And it's never gonna change. He's too clever for a man. Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. It's the new church weed man. Fuck a Mary Jane doing his thing.